try to get away You will understand or at least someday Somewhere, somehow, some way we all go Someday you might as well just let me go now Tell mama I left, ain't no telling Things that surround me, I don't wanna be a felon Can't sleep, these dreams are in my soul I try but it's the only thing that I know Gotta go, young boy Hello? Hold on, I dropped my phone. Vanessa? Hey, Alex. Yeah, sorry about that. My phone slipped right out of my hands. You outside? No. I'm actually at the gas station. I was about to get gas, but I don't have my debit card. I must have left it back at the printing shop when I was just there getting our business cards. So, I was hoping I could park at your place and we could take your car on the way to our event tonight and pick up my debit card. Sure, no problem. Okay. Are you all dressed and ready to go? Uh, yeah. I'm all dressed and ready to go. I'm just sitting here waiting on you. Okay. Cool. All right, well, I'm on my way to you now. Oh, by the way, I picked up the cars and they look great. I think you're gonna love them. Oh, uh, yeah, because you helped come up with the designs. <laughs> exactly. Be safe. Don't text and drive. Aw, I love how you're always trying to look out for me. Okay. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> With the pin up, dreams of a nigga shining like it's almost December. Been focused since I remembered, and these days it's cool to switch up. I didn't get the memo, so I fall back and dip. Never ask for shit, I just excuse myself. Y'all adapt to it. Mother, I thought you said you were going to take a nap. I was, but <clears throat> I thought I should come out here to refill my tea. Oh, yeah, but I see I need to come to help you prepare for this black people. Job, whatever thing event it is, Miss Stacy couldn't be here with you. It's called the Black Social Affair Networking Mixer event, Mother. And what type of event is that again? It's where black business entrepreneurs like myself get together to mingle and promote our business. And plus, I told you Stacy had to work late, and that's why she's not going with me. I know what you said, boy. But if it was my man that was going to an event with a strange woman, I'd call her work immediately. Vanessa is not a strange woman. She's actually my business partner. As a matter of fact, her and Stacy met already. We've all become good friends. What? You introduced them to each other? Have you lost your respect? And Stacy actually agreed to meet her? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Alex, I like Stacy. That girl don't cause no drama. Why would you do that to her? You know she loves you. Mother, I love Stacy too. <laughs> you two make a beautiful couple. Can you believe it's been two years since we've been dating? She really makes me happy, Mother, but what does all of that have to do with this? Stacy is a good working woman, Alex. She goes to church, she likes to cook, has her own car, and she's ready to have kids. I'm not ready for kids yet. And besides, before I bring any kids into this world, I want to be married with a good financial stability. So that's why you're tipping that on her. 
tipping out? What do you mean, like, like cheating? Oh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All I know is that I don't want to get involved in your love triangle. Oh, Stacy and I have a great relationship, and I will never cheat on her. Don't you call me, Ma. Mother, may I apologize? Yes, you may. I apologize for calling you a word that people associate with chicken heads. Alex, I told you, I don't like men that tip out on their women. But you got it naturally, so I knew it'd come out sooner or later. Alex. Mother, please, let's not do this. I am nothing like my father, and I will never cheat on Stacy. You're bringing another woman to my house to go on a date with, son. Hand me that folding table. Vanessa is my business partner. So that's what you children are calling it these days. I am not a child. I am a grown man. Well, grown man, you call that huzzy and tell her don't bring her wretched ass over here to my house. Because I told you, I don't like women who agree to be with a man that's already in a relationship. Where is her morals, son? For the last time, I am not dating Vanessa. Why can't you just believe me? It's in your blood, Alex. Mother, I love Stacy. And I will always respect her and our relationship. What's love got to do with it? Your father loves me. He loved me for 28 years. Yeah, but do you love yourself? I am nothing like my father. I won't have other holes in my lady's face pretending I'm not sleeping with them. You watch your mouth. I'm tired of him walking past you in this house as if you were some stranger. He's the one that's cheating. And you've known that for years. Stop letting him treat you like that. So who is Vanessa? And why is she going to this event with you instead of your girlfriend? Sometimes I think I just need to sign that application to a nursing home. Because I told you before, she's my business partner and Stacy is at work. Alex, do I look like a fool? You really want me to answer that? Alex, you know all my life I had to- Settle? Because that's what you've been doing all your life. Settling. Why, mother? Why? That man loves me. You hear me? Your father just has a condition. Condition? Them other women don't mean anything to him. But you're not about to mess up the best relationship you've had. I am not Alex Ward Sr. And the only condition that man has is that he continues to treat you like shit. You keep slapping me because you're angry inside? You don't think I don't know that you're hurting? He don't even have the decency to hide his affairs from you anymore. Stop letting him treat you that way. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him! I just wish he would die slow. No, mother! Because I want him to feel that same pain that he's been causing you to feel every day. I'll never be like him because I'm no punk. Only a punk can make his wife feel unloved. I have to sit here and listen to him call you fat, ignorant, ugly, and all kinds of ungodly names. Now son, I know you are angry, but it's not right to wish harm on anyone. And that's including your father. You deserve so much better than this, mother. I love Stacy the way I want a real man to love my mother. I treat her like a real man supposed to treat the woman he claims he loves. There's a man out there that's praying for a woman like you right now. You don't have to settle any longer. I just wanted 
my kids to grow up in a household with a mother and a father. That's what I wanted for you children. Your kids want you to go and live the life that was created for you. to stay true and cool to my hipster image. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey, we have to get going. The Black Social Affair has already started. And don't forget, we have to stop by the printing shop to pick up my card. Oh. I called and they said that it was there and it's ready. <laughs> oh, hello, ma'am. Uh, Mother, may I? Yes, you may. Mother, this is Vanessa Burns, my business partner. Vanessa, this is my mother, Miss Yolanda Ward. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Ward. I've heard a lot of wonderful things about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, Alice and Stacy have said so much about you, and uh, I just need you to know that you raised a dynamic son, and I'm delighted that he's in my life. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mother, we have to be going. You should be getting packed for your getaway. You're going on a vacation? Where to? Let's just say, there's no place like home. Love you, Mother. OK, well, it was nice meeting you, and I hope to see you again. You know, I'm sure there were things we have in common that I love you. Yep, he's just like his father. He has that condition. Hell, he's going to an event called the Black Affair. How dumb did he think I was? That sound like some orgy. Let me call Stacy and pretend like I don't see anything. Because that's just the mother I am, pretending that I don't see anything. Someday, somewhere, somehow, some way we all go someday. You might as well just let me go now. Tell mama I left. Ain't no telling. Things that surround me, I don't wanna be your felon. Can't sleep, these dreams are in my soul. I try, but it's the only thing that I know. Gotta go. Young boy from the wine know it. No, we finna ride for it. Made up his mind, he gon' die for it. That young boy wanted to touch the sky. Yeah, that young boy, he knew his eyes. Look in his eyes, see the pain and the hunger, desperation getting to him, knowing that there's nothing for him outside. Last month, this nigga got caught by stray. Last night, his homeboy was taking my guy. They say that young boy has selfish dreams. They say that young boy, he couldn't be king. But when you around people who don't know, but they talk shit, you get to understand they're not the ones that you fuck with. It doesn't matter anyway, because it's that it watching. Then it's right back to loving you as soon as you got shit. Young boy got dreams of being the man. But you wouldn't understand, they trying to box him, man. He needs to plan, goddamn. Uh -huh. Gotta get away. You will understand, or at least someday. Somewhere, somehow, some way we all go someday. You might as well just let me go now. Tell mama I left. Ain't no telling. Things that surround me, I don't wanna be your felon. Can't sleep, these dreams are in my soul. I try, but it's the only thing that I know. Gotta go. Just put your mind to it, grind to it. Remember, real niggas always gon' shine. You know the saying, friends turn, bridges burn. You live and learn for that bread and butter. A couple times, you gon' get burned. You go through shit, you grow through shit. Just manifest to make the most of it. Cause ain't no telling when your time comes and you'll be on some postal shit. Opportunities, make the most of it. Put your hand up for nothing. But what? It's common now. Everybody stays asking for something. Nobody gon' give you shit. Facts now. You want something done, you gotta get up off your ass now. And maybe, nigga, you can be something. And maybe you just might be something. Preparation is the key to everything. You gotta dream without the hustle, then that dream don't mean nothing.